Hello my dear viewers, today is a very special day, it's my birthday and I'm going to prepare a birthday dinner. We are going to cook together and we are going to make some flower arrangements together. Let's start with the flower arrangements. I got some beautiful flowers today at Trader Joe's, as you all know by now. Trader Joe's is my favorite store and I find pretty much everything I need at this store. So we found beautiful roses. Today I picked some miniature roses because I want it to be my centerpiece and I don't want it to interfere with our conversation. So it's going to be on the table but I, I don't want it to be too loud. So those are the... I got two bouquets of roses and one bouquet of carnation. I tried to coordinate the colors. I got some yellow and orange. And orange is my favorite color. And um, the carnation is the combination of both, yellow and orange. Okay, let's start cutting. And also for the vases, I'm not using any vases. I'm using two, the two small vases and uh, glasses. I'm using water goblets and wine glasses. Roses are my favorite flowers. It's beautiful. I love it. I don't wait anybody to give me flowers, even though I know I'm going to get lots of flowers today. I go and treat myself and I buy what pleases my eyes. I suggest you do the same. Sometimes you have to treat yourself and treat yourself as a special person okay let's cut some of those I always keep the stems and use it as a decor let's see if this would fit here cut it too short maybe I can put it in this one See what I'm doing. Over here. I have some stems that this was from my previous arrangement. Even though I got rid of the flowers, I kept the stems because I knew I was going to make another arrangement and I can use it. So I'm going to put it right here. I also have some baby's bread that I used at my previous arrangement. This was still good, so I didn't throw it away. I'm just using it. Here's one of the bouquets ready. Let's work on the other one. This time I'll cut it longer and then if I need to trim it short, we'll cut it short. Okay. That's too long. Uh -huh. 
this would be okay. Let's see how this would look. This is too high. I think I need to trim all of those together. A little bit. I love the color combination. It's so pretty. I'm not doing my draw. I'm just filling the cups with the roses and cutting off. <laughs> it flew away. I think this is enough for this one too. I'll put some baby spread with this one too. There it is. This one is ready too. I will also cut the stems and use it. By the way, I just want to let you know that the stems that I cut from that big giant roses that I got the other day, I'm, I still have it. It's right here. As you can see, it's, it shoots some more, uh, some more branches and I'm going to plant it. Um, if you keep your stems and you trim it in a way that it, it shoots some stems, you can still plant it. See, those are giving some height. So these two are ready. I think I need one more in this arrangement. I'll put one more in the middle. Not too much. Right here. Now it looks fuller. See, we have two. I'm going to make this one combination of two colors yellow this is too short it's okay okay we'll cut some yellow this is too high i hope i'm not boring you with this i'm just trying to get a Colorful arrangement. It's getting messy here. clean while I'm working. I don't like to work in a messy environment. I need another longer stem rows. I think this will do it. Here we got the combination of two colors, yellow and orange. It looks beautiful. kind of rushing because I have to make this. My table is set already. I have set the table. All I have to do is just put my flower arrangements. And my dinner guests, it's, they're not guests, my sister, my family actually. Um, we're going to have a family dinner. That's about it. It's very, that's how we usually have it every year. So anyway, the COVID didn't affect in that sense. So here are my arrangements. I will also put it here and there in the room. Just there it is. Here's another one. There is this. Let's make this two. 
Oh, I haven't used the carnations yet. I want to use some in this mixed arrangement. I will put this here. At work, uh, we always, every week, we had fresh flowers in the showroom and I was always in charge <laughs> to make sure to do the flower arrangements. And I really enjoy it. Okay, here are some uh, yellow ones. After this, we have I have to clean uh, the shrimps and uh, and the lobster tails. Today's dinner is a lobster tail because I love seafood. I love pasta and I love seafood. So if it's not pasta, it's seafood. Another arrangement that is ready We're on this side, a little bit of baby spread. Actually, this will work. I think the stems really adds to the look of it. I'm going to add one more here. I love it when it starts sprouting like this one okay let's put some more stems in this one but let's see how it looks. Now, I'll cut, cut it from, you know what? Let's cut it from there. Let's this it on a bit.
Okay, this one is ready too. I'm going to put it here. We have this, this, this. how it looks so far I think we can make three more arrangements let's see we got two yellows I need to make one more all, all orange favorite I'll put it here in a bigger glass Now I'm rushing to finish my flower arrangements because I'm behind the schedule. I still have a lot to do for the dinner. Tonight I have to clean some um, lobster tail and uh, a lot of shrimps. That will take a lot of my time so I'm rushing and I'm hoping that I will make it uh, before the dinner time to set the table. The table is set, it's just that I have to prepare all the food. I hope you will come back and join me to cook my birthday dinner party together. It will be so much fun. I will show you how to clean and cook lobster tail and shrimps and the side dishes. Looking forward to seeing you again at my next episode. My flower arrangements are ready for my dinner birthday party. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching me and thanks for joining me today. I hope you like this and I hope it was helpful for you to make your next flower arrangement for any kind of party that you're going to have. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now we are going to prepare lobster tails together. So stay tuned for the lobster tails. Like I mentioned before, I was running late and I had to rush to get the dinner on the table. And I did not have a chance to take a picture of the dinner table. I apologize for that. I should have taken a picture in, uh, prior to serving the dinner. But I missed that opportunity and I, I totally forgot about it. I apologize. I took these pictures the next day and I rearranged my flowers. This was my centerpiece, but I also put it on the fireplace mantle the next day and I'm going to enjoy it throughout the week. I also got these beautiful tulips from my sister. She got me three bouquets. And coincidentally, she matched the colors with my color without knowing it. So what a beautiful coincidence. Thanks again for joining me today. Have a wonderful day, wonderful week, and wonderful life. Bye-bye.